Hey guys, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to perform a basic EQ mix. So up until now, we've just been fading with the crossfader and the up and downs, and now we're gonna make it a bit smoother by incorporating the EQ, okay? So this basic EQ mix is a really useful mix that you will probably use on probably at least 75% of the mixes that you mix because it's super useful across all genres and it's also useful whether it's a short mix or a long mix. And the reason why is because you will be uh, transitioning the bass frequencies, which are the most prominent frequencies in the songs. So when you have two basses playing at the same time, the volume will raise and you may risk distortion in the speakers also on those bass hits in that frequency because it's a really prominent frequency. Now. You can mix the cymbal blend like we did in the last um, lesson. However, uh, you don't wanna really do that just without the EEQ on a lot of your mixes because you'll run into this bass problem where they're both playing at the same time and then when you start fading the other one out, the level will lower again because they just raise. And also you don't wanna risk distortion. You don't wanna blow the speakers. If you're playing in a nightclub or on someone else's sound system, you might blow their speakers and you don't wanna do that. You won't get booked again and they would get really mad at you. And you don't wanna mess up your own gear because it's your gear. <laughs> so uh, this is a really good mix to get really good at and practice. So what we're gonna do is we're just, it's so easy. We're just gonna switch the bass frequencies. So this one, uh, is Francis Durrell's Raka, yeah. And this one is uh, Powak Shaolin. And so we're gonna mix at that pink cue point again, same place, but this bass is gonna be all the way down. Then we're gonna do the fade, the simple blend on the first half, right? We're gonna get that all the way up. And then once we get that up, then we're going to switch the bass frequencies. So we're going to start fading this one up, this base. Once it gets to nine o'clock, then we're going to start transitioning and switch it like that. So this is gonna go to 12 o'clock and then this is gonna be at nine o'clock around the time that this gets at 12 o'clock or at least around there. And then we can either start fading this out completely and then fade it or we can just fade it from here. But this is the touchy area right here. This little nine o'clock to 12 o'clock area is really where the most prominent sounding bass is on this half of the bass knob. So we just want to get that out. And this is a shorter mix because it's the original mix that we did in the last lesson, the very first one. So we won't have a lot of time. So what I'm gonna do is fade this up faster than I might have on the simple blend because we won't have this prominent bass frequency getting in the way and making it really obvious, okay? So we'll only have these sounds, okay? Do you hear the difference? Okay, there's that, and especially when the bass comes in later. Here we go. So you hear that? You hear the difference? Okay, so that's a really prominent frequency and sound. So we can do it super fast and then, then we'll do our bass switch and then we'll get this one out or we'll drop it out or it may just play out and we may not even have to fade it out and we can just cut it. Okay, so let's try it. Oh, and they're already beat matched. Now you wanna turn this down, right? So everything I'm doing, it'll be in the headphones. You guys won't hear it. So I need to get that cue up. I'm gonna test it just to be sure. Sounds on. Now I have the bass up when I'm testing it just because I wanna hear the whole track. And now I'm gonna drop it. Okay, cutting the bass. Now I'm gonna start fading it. Now don't forget about this. If it gets off, you need to adjust it. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to master so I can hear what the crowd is hearing without that cue interfering. Okay, 
Now I'm starting to do my base switch, nice and smooth. Get to the nine o'clock position, start fading the other base down. And now I can start fading this up. And then it's gonna build up and drop perfectly on the correct phrase. So there you go. That is a basic EQ mix. You can do it for a longer period of time. Uh, so you could do that longer version of the mix that we did in the last lesson. Uh, and then you have a lot longer to play with. It doesn't have to be a short mix. It can be even shorter than this one, uh, but just practice that. Practice it at different lengths of mixes and practice it on both sides, of course, as well. And just play around with it and get really good with it. It's gonna be super useful for you. I promise you, um, you will use this at least 50 to 75% of the time. Uh, but that's about it. If you wanna learn more, check out the next video.